Welcome to the Electronics Channel. As you probably know, Zener diodes can be used as voltage regulators. I have a Zener diode regulator circuit shown in this picture here, and what I want to talk about is load regulation. And in this case, what load regulation is, is the range of values that my load can be. In this case, it's just a resistive load. What is the range of resistor values that can be put there that will still let the Zener diode do its regulation properly. Now there's of course going to be two extremes. RL has to be less than some maximum and it also needs to be greater than some minimum. So what is going to be the limitation at that maximum? Well, if this RL becomes too big, there won't be very much load current going through it. Therefore, most if not all of what's coming out of the source is going to go through the Zener diode. So that Zener current is going to be potentially fairly high. And the power that's dissipated by that Zener diode will be equal to the voltage across the diode, that in this case it's a 12 volt Zener, multiplied by the current that's going through it. So if that current gets too big, it could potentially exceed this maximum power that the Zener diode can dissipate safely. And if that power gets exceeded, then the diode's not necessarily going to blow up right away, but its life expectancy is certainly going to be reduced somewhat. At the other extreme, what is the minimum that that resistor, that load resistor can be? So if we start making this resistor smaller and smaller and smaller, the load current is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The IS is not changing. The current that's coming from the source is not changing. Well, not changing much. So if IL approaches the value of the IS, there may not be enough current flowing through the Zener diode to allow it to regulate. In this case, this particular Zener diode has a minimum current of 0.5 milliamps, so it needs at least 0.5 milliamps through it to be able to regulate at the 12 volts. So let's go through the calculations that we need to do in order to figure out what the range for the load resistor can be. So for this circuit, no matter what, if we are in regulation, the voltage across the Zener diode will be 12 volts. That means we can figure out what the voltage across the, the 470 ohm source resistor has to be. That current coming out of the source will be equal to the voltage across that 470 ohm resistor, which will be the 24 volt source minus the 12 volts of the Zener, divided by 470 ohms. And that works out to 25.5 milliamps. So again, as long as this Zener diode is regulating properly, the source is going to be providing 25.5 milliamps. That holds true whether we're at the maximum load or at the minimum load. Another thing that's going to hold true no matter what is that that source current gets split between the Zener current and the load current. Now let's look at the maximum power case, and that's going to be the case where the Zener current is at its maximum. At the maximum Zener power, the current, the maximum current that can go through that Zener diode is equal to the maximum Zener power, as we reach the quarter of a watt, 0.25 watts, divided by the voltage across the Zener diode, that's that 12 volts. And that works out to 20.8 milliamps. So that is the maximum amount of IZ that we can have in the circuit before the Zener diode's life expectancy starts to shorten. It could shorten pretty dramatically if that IZ is significantly above that 20.8 milliamps. So if IZ has a maximum of 20.8 milliamps and IS is fixed at 25.5 milliamps, the IL at that maximum case has to be 25.5 milliamps minus 20.8 milliamps, which gives me 4.67 milliamps. So at this maximum Zener power state, the load current is going to be 4.67 milliamps. And in order to have 4.67 milliamps when we have a 12 volt source or 12 volts across that, that load, RL will be 12 volts divided by 4.67, 4.67 milliamps. And that works out to 2,571 ohms. So that, that's 2,571 ohms is the threshold. Now the question is, can we have values more than that or less than that? Well, if we have a load resistance that's more than that, well, there's going to be even less load current, which, which means more current through the Zener, which means we will be exceeding that maximum power dissipation. So the actual RL value must actually be less than 2,571 ohms. Now let's look at the other extreme. 
when we have the minimum amount of Zener current. So the question is, at what load resistance will the Zener diode drop below that minimum current and therefore fall out of regulation? Well, these two points still hold true. The source current is still going to be 25.5 milliamps, and that source current will also be equal to the Zener current plus the load current. The minimum that we can have for the Zener current is 0.5 milliamps. So that means our load current is going to be 25.5 milliamps minus 0.5 milliamps. So the load current, it will be 25 milliamps when the Zener current is at its minimum. Still 12 volts across that load resistor. So what resistance will give us 25 milliamps when there's 12 volts across it? Simply apply Ohm's law here. 12 volts divided by 25 milliamps, and that works out to 480 ohms. If that load resistance drops lower than 480 ohms, IL will increase, which is pulling more from the 25.5 milliamps that the source can provide. Therefore, the diode is going to drop out of regulation. As soon as the diode drops out of regulation, we no longer have VZ across RL, so we basically will have a voltage divider circuit between this 470 ohm resistor and, and the RL, and the Zener diode doesn't have much effect on the circuit anymore. So what we know about the load resistor for this Zener diode regulating circuit is that it has to be less than 2571 ohms in order to keep the current through the Zener diode low enough so that the Zener diode doesn't burn out too quickly and it has to be greater than 480 ohms in order for there to still be enough current through the Zener diode to keep it in regulation and, and keep that 12 volts across the load resistor. So there you go. That is load regulation for Zener diode voltage regulating circuits. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. I don't know what to put here. I don't know what to put here. I don't know what to put here. Do you? Have a suggestion, have a suggestion, have a suggestion. If so, leave it in the comments, leave it in the comments, leave it in the comments. I appreciate it.